By the numbers, the RV market of Europe is noticeably smaller when compared to North American. However, it would be a big mistake to underestimate the level of its development and availability of versatile models across different classes. The most popular recreational vehicles in this region are classic Class B camper vans that are often characterized by affordable prices, technological cabins, and beyond cozy layouts. In this episode, we'll review the very best European camper vans currently on sale. So, if you're not from around here, we invite you to learn on what you're missing. Subscribe to Must See Tech and let's roll! Atria Twin Sports The new sports camper van builds on the basis of the Atria Twins, offers four unique floor plans, and comes equipped with a pop-up roof system. Underpinned by the Fiat Ducato platform, the model is motivated by a multi-jet diesel engine with 140 horses. The front of the model houses a flexible dinette, the driver and the passenger seats swivel back, and there is a small kitchen on the side. Atria gives the twin sports a cabin loft, open-plan interior with a large sunroof and a pull-out ladder that lets you climb onto the roof. The rear can be equipped with several bed options, and it is specially tweaked for outdoor enthusiasts. It fits a bike, gets wall and floor-mounted trails, fastenings and pockets. Lastly, each of the twin sports floor plans offers a duplex bathroom with a swivel wall and Webasto heating. Volkswagen Grand California Unlike the original VW California that is based exclusively on the transporter van, the Grand California builds over the larger Crafter. The model is powered by a 2-liter turbo diesel that is capable of 177 horses and 102 miles per hour. Plus, customers can choose between standard front-wheel drive and available for motion all-wheel drive. Offered in two sizes, the camper accommodates two adults plus two kids on the optional cab over bed. The interior of the van enjoys a thorough loft conversion, so you can whip up some food using a two-burner stove and have a lunch at a dedicated dinette area. It also packs a 70-liter pull-out fridge and lots of cupboards. We should also mention that the Grand California features a tiny wet bath that fits a chemical toilet and still lets you use a shower. The latter is possible by the installed combi water heater that works on gas, diesel or electricity, and two water tanks, 110 liter fresh and 90 liter waste. Other key aspects that differentiate this model include solar panels, air conditioning, Wi Fi hotspots, and satellite. Hobby Ventana Deluxe the flagship Ventana camper van is built on the entry-level Entour Edition and adds standard 16-inch alloy rims and an extra-wide hobby top panoramic roof. The biggest difference, however, is hidden from the ice, since the Deluxe is powered by a more potent 140 HP diesel engine paired with a 6-speed manual transmission. The Ventana Deluxe offers two layouts, where you have to choose between a large double bed or two single beds. Designed for a carefree family holiday, the camper van has a spacious lounge area that sits for people, a compact washroom, various storage compartments, and a compact swivel toilet. Extra sleeping for two kids can be arranged in the daynet area. Finally, the model gets a bigger 90-liter double-hinged compressed refrigerator, a gas bottle pull-out shelf, premium windows, and interior ambient lighting. Like never before, we need your support, so please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's proceed. Heimer Grand Canyon S Crossover Heimer's lineup currently includes a wide range of camper vans based on the Fiat Ducato and Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, starting from around 50,000 euros. However, from 2021, Heimer also offers a unique camping specimen nearly double the price of any other lineup entry. The crossover is based on the Heimer's 4x4 Grand Canyon S. It has a single floor plan with two or four berths, roomy shower with wooden slats, practical kitchen unit, and cozy interior finishes. The newcomer, however, is much more capable of road. It relies on the Mercedes selectable 4 ETS electronic all-wheel drive with a reduction gear and benefits from a 3.5-inch suspension lift kit. 
Further enhancements come in the form of 16-inch all-terrain wheels, front LED light bars, a vibrant paint scheme, and an off-road survival kit. The Heimer crossover promises 10-day all-year-round self-sufficiency ensured by a 90-watt solar system, two 150-ampere-hour ampere lithium and 95-ampere-hour lead batteries, and a heavy-duty 6-kilowatt diesel heater. Affinity Campervan The Polish Affinity RV is a rather new player on the European campervan market that debuted its first model back in 2020. Based on the Fiat Ducato or Peugeot Boxer chassis, it was designed to offer all the advantages of a campervan while keeping the maximum interior space free. Affinity have widened the van's sidewalls by 5.5 inches overall, which allowed to fit a large French double bed in the back with an ensuite bathroom alongside it. Consequently, the extra space in the middle was used to fit a spacious L-shaped kitchen. The latter offers additional counter space, a dual burner stove, a sink, and a 90-liter fridge. To provide truly comfortable sleeping arrangements for a group of four, Affinity can add a unique convertible bunk bed in the front. The van can also be fitted with true Macam B4E heating, up to 360 watts of solar, and a rear garage under the bed. Knaus Boxstar XL Adding a pop-up proof is a popular solution for expanding sleeping capacity of a campervan. However, this flagship model from the German Knaus takes a different route with its Class C-inspired cab-over design on a compact Fiat Ducato body. This mini motorhome measures 19.6 feet in length and offers 6.1 feet of inner width and 7.8 feet of interior height. Customers can choose between two layouts that differ by the number of windows and bed arrangements. Regardless, five people can sleep inside, while seat belt equipped seating is limited to four passengers. The cabin of the van manages to squeeze in a fully functional kitchen with a 70 or 90 liter fridge and a two burner. The bathroom features a swaddling cassette toilet and a shower. Plus, there are plenty of functional nooks and crannies for storage. Each of the Boxstar XLs offers true Macam before heating, air conditioning, and large water tanks for the fresh and wastewater. Mercedes Benz Marco Polo. Super compact and super luxurious like any other Mercedes. The V-Class AK Mattress AK Vito has been underpinning the Marco Polo camper line since the 1999 acquisition of Westphalia. Available in three modifications, base, horizon and activity, it is built in-house according to the highest standards expected from the German luxury brand. Depending on the chosen setup, you can either get a bare minimum of a camper or an adequately equipped two-story micro-smart house with up to four sleeping spots, a two-burner stove, a fridge, a kitchenette, and an MBAC interior environment control. The scamper van is powered by a 2 liter four cylinder turbo diesel in various states of tune. It gets a plush suspension, optional agility control, and the latest bells and whistles from Mercedes in terms of the infotainment, driver assistance, and safety. What do you think about the European RVs? Will you agree that some of them have very attractive prices and equipment packages? Would you like to have some of these on sale in your own countries? Let's discuss these matters in the comment section below. I'll remind you to subscribe to Must See Tech and to like this episode if you haven't already. As always, more videos are on the screen. See you soon and glory to Ukraine!